Usually, other YouTubers say or do something interesting or witty right here, and then they start an intro. But here at the Wine Cone, we don't do that. Really? We, we still don't have an intro. Still! Are you serious? I thought that was a perfect opening for a surprise intro, and we have nothing! Just roll anything, it doesn't matter what it is, it has to be a clear cut to something else, and then we can start the actual video. So go, roll it! Dear Video Diary, today I was playing Scrabble on Facebook, and look at the letters that it gave me, look at that. W, oh, sorry, <laughs> W-I-N, it's like my username, oh my goodness, outrageous! What the f***? Why would you roll that? You're an idiot! Some of you may remember my last video about book reviews. If not, here's a recap. You hate me now, I know. So basically, I received a whole bunch of books from a book publicist. I wasn't sure what her reaction would be to the video because there were some creepy parts in it, especially the end part where I make out with a cartoon girl and get a Hummer from her. No, I didn't receive a truck. I meant the other kind of Hummer. As Cosmopolitan defines it, Hummer. An oral sex technique where you literally hum, creating spine-tingling vibrations while going down on your man. Why am I reading Cosmo? Guilty pleasure! Not really. Now some of you wanted an update about the video and the reaction of the book publicist and her boss. Well I have good and really confusing news. They both loved the video. And they sent it to other authors that they know. I... Uh, what happened? How is this even possible? Usually my videos cause a shitstorm about how I go too far and it's too creepy. Even the illustrator of this book, the book with this girl in it, the girl who I tenderly kissed and gave me a blowjay, even the illustrator of this book liked my video. What the hell's going on? Look at this tweet. On Twitter, she wrote, Personally, it's my favorite review yet. Outrageous! Like David after the dentist, I need to know if this is real life because I have no idea how this is happening and it doesn't make any sense. Although she did go on to say that I probably ruined her career in children's books. So I must say that is the most fantastic news I've ever heard in my life. So high five to that. Don't touch me. Okay, f*** you. I guess I'll high-five you guys instead. Here we go. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Okay, this is just awkward because I'm just flailing my hand around and you're probably just sitting there doing nothing while watching me. Alright, let's try this instead. I'll put my hand up right here like this, okay? Now you put your hand on top of mine, like directly onto the screen. Now we have some sort of weird connection going on. Do you feel it? I do. Okay, so um, if you're actually doing this, I'm pretty sure this is more awkward than the one-sided high-five thing I was doing before. So yeah. You know what else is awkward? I wish I could taste you in real life. In other related news, the illustrator of this book, Hannah Neal, A Quest for Good Manners, has decided to collaborate with me to make a spin-off book called The Adventures of Rudeness. Okay, no, that's a lie. There's no book deal. But I'm sure if you guys had enough interest in it, I could maybe make something happen. Just saying. Hopefully she knows how to draw penises, because the majority of the book would involve me whipping it out at odd times. I already have a scene in my mind. Okay, that's a lie. Because I went further than that and actually drew concept art on what it would look like. It'll show me browsing YouTube and coming across some girl's channel. She, of course, would be talking about sex and that would excite me. And then I end up sending her a video response of myself watching and listening to her video while I masturbate. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's rude or just really creepy. I'm changing the book title to The Adventures of Creepiness.